welcome back everybody got another short video for you today we're gonna go over the clock tower puzzle this puzzle involves two areas it involves the moros parish area with the clock tower itself and it also involves the lamarck district so first when you get to the lamarck district which is kind of a side dungeon you're gonna see that it is this kind of burning full of dead bodies zone what you need to do is just press on forward kill all of the enemies once you've killed all of the enemies you're gonna go into the only building pretty much that you have access to and you're gonna go all the way downstairs into a room that is full of clocks now in that room sitting on the table there is going to be a note the note itself is mostly useless and full of red herrings except for the fourth paragraph and the fourth paragraph says check the house clock but no, that old bird won't just open for anyone. Look to the tower, girl. You'll know what to do. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? Well, a little bit further into this room, once you stop reading the note, you'll be able to see that there is a house clock that looks like a bird. Now, when you access that house clock, it wants you to set the time correctly. But we don't know what that time is. So where do we find it? Well, it says here, look to the tower girl so that's exactly where we're gonna go we're gonna go back to Morrow's parish and we're gonna look at the clock tower there when we look at the dial itself we're gonna see that it's set to 11 17 roughly around there i don't think their hours work the same as earth hours but that's kind of where the hands are set to so once you have that in there you're gonna go back to uh lamarck district you're gonna go back to that room with um, the house clock and you're gonna put in 1117 once you've set the hands correctly on the house clock It's gonna open and it's gonna give you a crucial quest item now This quest item is important for the next part. So it is the clockwork pinion After you get the clockwork pinion you're gonna go back into the morrow parish and you're gonna continue onwards Through the main path which leads you into the great sewers after you've completed the great sewers, we are now finally going to be able to get to the clock tower. So in the clock tower area, you are just going to have to keep climbing the clock tower. There is pretty much only one path to get to the top. So just keep following it all the way around. There are lots of gargoyles that sometimes try to push you off the ledges. So just be careful of that. But once you make your way to the top, you'll find a mechanism that is involved in running the clock itself. So now you can go up to that mechanism. You are going to take out that item that we just found in the Lamarck district, the clockwork pinion, and we're going to put it into the mechanism that opens the clock. You can see from the outside window, there is a purple item on that clock. So once you get that mechanism started, like here, the item is going to drop on the ledge and you're going to be able to get it. Now, just to the right, of where this is happening there is also a chest with another purple item the first item that you're getting is the broken timepiece now this can be turned into mccabe and she will make a mod for you the mod is actually pretty cool you're able to freeze normal enemies in a radius around you kind of like like that for a little while and once you damage them slow gets applied to them very cool mod it's fun to play with. The utility isn't phenomenal for me at, at the moment, but it's very fun. And then the second item is the Timekeeper's Jewel, which increases the duration of all status effects applied by the wearer. Now, this thing can be really cool, especially in status builds. So if you're looking for the Timekeeper's Jewel, this is how you get it. All right, guys. So that's the video for the Clock Tower Puzzle. If you enjoyed the content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. The support is much appreciated, and I'll catch you next time. All right, see ya.